video, we're going to build an Excel worksheet to calculate the lower of cost or market. We're going to compare an inventory's cost with its replacement cost or market value. The name is a bit of a misnomer as we actually don't compare the cost with a replacement cost, but rather we compare the cost with a designated market that can't be below a floor or above a ceiling. The ceiling is the item's net realizable value, which is the item's normal selling price, in this case $14, minus any estimated disposal cost, which in this case is $1. So our net realizable value is 14 minus 1, or $13. So in each case, we'll compare our replacement cost with the ceiling, and our replacement cost can't be in excess of the ceiling. Next, we will compare our replacement cost with a designated floor. And our floor is simply the net realizable value, $13 in this case, minus normal profit, in which case we're told we have a 25% profit on a normal selling price of $14. So our floor will be $9.50. That's the $13 net realizable value minus a normal profit margin of $3.50. So we will compare our replacement cost to the floor, and our replacement cost can't be below the floor. Let's consider the first case when we have a $9 replacement cost. The $9 replacement cost is below the floor, so we can't go to $9. Our designated market will be $9.50. For the next price, or a cost of $10, the $10 falls between the ceiling and the floor, so it is an acceptable designated market. The $11 falls between the $13 ceiling and the $9.50 floor, so it is also an acceptable designated market. The same is true with the $12 and the $13. The $14 per unit cost for our replacement cost is above the net realizable value. It exceeds the ceiling, so we're limited to a $13 designated market. The same is true when the inventory's replacement cost is $15. It exceeds the ceiling, and we're left with a $13 designated market. Notice, in each case, we took the middle value, 950 falls between the 9 and the 13, the 10 falls between the 13 and the 950, as does the 11, 12, and 13, the $13 falls between the 14 and the 950, and the 13 falls between the 950 and the 15. We can use Excel's median command, or rather median function, where we specify a range of values in Excel selects the median. Finally, we calculate the lower of cost, or designated market. When we compare the $11 cost with the $9.50 designated market, we will go with the $9.50 for our final inventory value. When we compare the $11 cost with the $10 designated market, again, we will go with the lower $10 designated market for our final inventory value. We can use Excel's min function for the logic to make this determination. And you can see our calculation of final inventory values.